Ancient Shining ones. Hey guys. I cannot. I seriously cannot. Like, you guys. There are people. For those of you that don't know, I have seven other channels, and I created a whole channel just based on the fact of why do people that you have loved and adored turn into, they just, they just seem to completely hate you for no reason. Like, you've literally done the nicest things for these people. You've shared them. You've shared their videos. You've shouted them out. You've told people to go check them out. Like, you've done all kinds of amazing, sweet things. Like, and they just hate you for no reason. Absolutely hate you. That's why I call it hater creator, because you literally create haters. Like, they, they call you the B word, right? They see you, you're a B word. Tell them, hell yeah, I'm a B word. <laughs> beautiful B, beautiful I, individual T, that <laughs> C, creates H, haters. Yeah, I'm that bitch. Don't get it twisted, baby. And you one of them. Okay. <laughs> And then they want to say that you're jealous of them. And you're just like, come on, dude. I share people with way more subscribers than you on my channel. Like, if I were jealous of you, why would I share people with even more subscribers than you? Like, it's just, it's so dumb. And, and let's, let's get real. They copy you, right? So they're learning from you. So it's very obvious who the authentic one is here and who isn't, right? And then on top of all of that, You've got millionaires crushing on you, stalking you. I don't see millionaires crushing on them, stalking their page, copying them. Yeah, that's probably why they're jealous. <laughs> I can't, you guys. I cannot with myself right now, for real. Oh, my God. And, yes, I said millionaires, plural. I don't see ABBA dropping thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in their lap. Oh! with it no seriously like are you enjoying that karma because i know you're watching this right now because you know you can't get enough of me neither <laughs> you know you gotta take your notes for today <laughs> they probably clicked off after that sorry guys okay i know i'm sassy i know sassy classy and a bit badass <laughs> okay all right, cleansing the deck of any and all negative energy, only beings of the purest, swatest lot. Make Silvus reading and give me advice. Silvus reading now in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. I how and so it is. Therefore, let it be written. Therefore, let it be done. Someone here has a millionaire stalking their page. And they keep doing lives hoping that they'll get a taste of that lovely healing energy that you have. Could be a Pisces. <laughs> oh my God, I cannot. <laughs> but nope, you ain't gonna give them none of this taste. You ain't, they're gonna have to come correct. You ain't gonna have time for that. We ain't playing games with boys. We only are for the men, right? We only speak to the men, we only message men, we only talk to grown men, okay? So if you're a grown man and I've talked to you recently, yeah, hats off to you, baby, because you got my respect. So keep on keeping on. You feel me? All right, then. All righty, then. Let's continue. <laughs> you guys, are y'all having a good day? Born to be one. I thought we would do a Celtic cross here um, with these uh, Osho Zen tarot cards. I love these cards. They're so cool.
Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's right in front of my face. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Just in case we get any weird um, cards that, you know, because these are still fairly brand new. I, I haven't used them that much. And I love them. They're so cool. All right. So we're going to do a Celtic cross on us, Ancient Shining Ones. So we're going to just see, like, where we're at, what amazing opportunities are coming our way, you know, how we're going, blah, 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 right? What we need to grow on, work on, what obstacles, you know, where we're at. All that. First of all, you need to know that you're, you're, you're being guided by the divine, and you have lots of people comparing themselves to you. And even though they don't admit it, they feel like the bamboo and you're the red oak. Right? But they want to they wanna act. <laughs> they want to send you negative energy and say you're the B word. Okay. <laughs> Let's be real. Come on. They do know you're an intuitive, right? Like, <laughs> sadly, you can see straight through their mask. It's really sad, actually. They're so fragile. I mean, it's only because they've been, you know, they, they have abandonment issues. So let's send them love. Everyone who has been sending us negative energy, we send them love. Let me get my, my belt, my thingy out so we can ding it. We send them love, agape love, and forgiveness, right? Because we're not trying to, you know, deal with them. That's low vibrational energy. We're not even on that frequency. We're on a completely different frequency. We actually pray for you and mean it, okay? <laughs> to all our haters out there. Why are you all in your feels and I'm happy? Okay, let's just leave that there. I'm going to stop. I know I'm being sassy. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay. Papa, forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love my daddy. All right, so this adds up to an eight. So you are totally being guided by the divine ancient shining ones. Make no mistake about it. It's right there. My cards don't lie. <clears throat> and they know it. They know it. That's why they hate. That's why they hate it. It's quite silly, really. All I can say is buckle up. Buckle up. Get prepared. Get ready. This karma comes in waves. All right. So some of you feel like your love life is being put on hold or your, uh, you know, blessings are being put on hold or you just feel like, okay, so see how her color is rainbow right here on the shirt and then the picture is rainbow. Some of you may be feeling like you're being called to enter the Rainbow Warrior Prophecy or be a part of it. Go check, um, it's the last link hand in the comments, okay? Um, go watch it. It is uh, Join the Revolution, for those of you that don't know what the Rainbow Warrior Prophecy is, okay? So some of you may be trying to grow to be a Rainbow Warrior, right? And you just feel like it's taking forever for you to grow. Like you want to be on another level and you just feel like you're not there, right? And it's frustrating you. It's frustrating you. But don't get frustrated, okay? Just know that everywhere that you're at right now, Ancient Shiny Ones, is exactly where you're supposed to be. Okay? It's for your growth and betterment. All right? And number four, so security. All right? There's a reason why you're where you're at. Okay? And say it with me. I was never delayed nor denied. It is all for God's glory. And these people that don't think you are who you say you are, they are in for such a rude awakening. <laughs> oh, 
my goodness. Are they ever? Okay. So, a block here is friends. Maybe you guys have some friends that you thought were your friends, and then now they're, they've turned into enemies, right? Because they're jealous of the double anointing that you have or the presence that you have or the presence that you carry. Uh, the great I am goes before you, and they know this. You have a massive healing presence for the planet, for planet Earth. Other people have seen it, called it out, called a spade a spade. And this makes him very jealous because... <clears throat> no one's done that for them, right? But they want to believe that they have this healing presence, right? Or let's just say maybe they're just, you know, shady. Maybe they're just rude. Maybe you guys just have people that have just crossed you for no reason, just betrayed you for no reason, right? And you've had to deal with that. And you thought they were your friends. Like, you actually adored these people. You really cared about them, right? Well, don't worry. That's part of joining the revolution anyway. <laughs> yeah. Just a part of it. Don't worry. All right. So, let's see. Many of you are letting go, ancient shiny ones, of anything that doesn't serve you. You're not about to be dealing with petty dramas and ridiculousness, back and forth, yada, yada. You definitely don't call people names or anything childish like that because you're not a child, right? You're grown in these streets. Number eight is significant. You know anyone that does that is operating from a shadow mentality anyway, right? You know the shadow has is just trying to get at you through them. You already know that. You're not going to let that... You're not even going to let that bother you. You are not going to be pulled down to their level because hence, <laughs> they're not on yours. Okay, let's just leave that there. Yeah, you guys have been healing in the past, which is probably why um, you've been rewarded, you've been blessed, you've been getting blessings after blessings, you know, because you're doing the inner work, right? You're doing what it takes. Okay. You're making it happen. And that's good. And you need to know the great I am is really proud of you, too. The lovers. Ooh. Some of you have quite a few people crushing on you. And one of them may be your new true twin flame. I don't know. Some of you may have a twin flame, and it may have been replaced. The, that twin may have been completely replaced with a new one because they wouldn't step up to the plate. But this, the, these, these people are definitely twinning. Look, they're mirroring each other. And you got choices. Don't even get it twisted. But, yeah, your twin didn't want to step up to the plate, right? They were in their ego. They were stubborn. They were trying to act like they ran the show. They knew everything. They had all the answers. They'd done all the work, right? When, in reality, you're far more advanced than they are on every level. <laughs> and it's, it's not a matter of, like, you know, who's more advanced and whatever. I mean, it's not really it's, it's not really about that. But they shouldn't be trying to knock you. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't be trying to make you feel less than you are because you are who you are. And you're going to have a lot of people, especially for those of you wanting to enlist into the Rainbow Warrior Prophecy, you're going to have a lot of people that are going to try and knock who you are. They're going to try and say you're not who you are, okay? Because they're jealous, because they know that they are not authentic, right? They're projecting. They feel weak in and of themselves. They second guess themselves every day. They're jealous of how you never second guess yourself. They're jealous of your confidence. They're jealous of your ability to say whatever you want to say, mean it, and leave it there, right? Because they can't do that. After they say something, they rethink it and think it and rethink it again and think it again and think it again and think it again. Think it again. They think it's death, you know? They're not confident in who they are. And they're jealous of you because you are. <laughs> because you know who you are, babe. 
baby. You know who you are. And that's why you got lots of people crushing on you, too. Because this is an energy that isn't, uh, you know, on planet Earth. Everyone on planet Earth right now is, has it, a lot of people are walking in just shadow men mentality, shadow aspects of the, their lives, right? They're not walking in the light. They walk in fear. They wear masks. Very few people, you know, except for my ancient shiny ones, I know my ancient shiny ones are mass free 5D. Okay, baby? I'm walking around on the planet not wearing a mask. I mean, they could claim to be. They could be like, oh, I'm 1% of the population, da da da. When we all know if they were, they would do the right thing and would not wear a mask. Right? But they don't do the right thing. They just wear a mask and pretend to do the right thing. And so we show carry on. <laughs> Also, they get mad at you for calling them out on their bullshit. They're like, what? You can see my mask? Oh, my God. Let me, let me stab you. Let me be mad at you. Let me call you names, you know. When in reality, you're like, okay, do you, boo. Here's the mirror. Go ahead and take a good hard look, right? <laughs> I'm protected, so either way, it's bouncing off me, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, you have a lot of people crushing on you, ancient shiny ones. Okay, because you're real. You're the real deal. You're authentic. You are in and, who, in and of yourself who you are. And nobody can take that away from you. They can say all day long whatever they want to say. But the truth is, they're projecting. All right? Or wishing. <laughs> oh, my God, I cannot. Okay. Some of my ancient shiny ones, you guys are exhausted. Okay. You feel like you're fighting this battle all on your own, and you just feel like you can't fight. You can't take one more step. You can't do one more. You can't. The secret is, guys, to get out of your head and into your heart space. Okay, get out of your head. This is mental battle right here. This is all mental. This is why you're feeling like this. Get out of your head and into your heart, sweetheart. And you'll be just fine. You'll get rid of this exhaustion, this, you know, feeling of just lack, right? You don't want to live in that. You don't want to be in that space. Your advice. Okay, let me get, because I want to read what this says. And Abba, we just pray and we lift up everyone who sent us negative energy. We draw a bloodline circle around ourselves and we plead your blood, Yeshua. We thank you that your angels have charge over us. Your hand of favor is upon us. Everywhere we go and in everything we do, Archangels, I release you. Archangels, I release you. Animal spirit guides, I release you. Spirit guides, I release you. Ancestors, I release you. Have your way, do your bidding. In Yeshua's name. Amen, and amen, now and so it is. Therefore, let it be written. Therefore, let it be done. You guys, don't let anybody try and tell you you're not who you are, honey, because you are exactly who you are, and they're projecting. Okay, pray for them instead. All right, so here we go. So this card recalls an old Zen story about a lion who was brought up by sheep and who thought he was a sheep until an old lion captured him and took him to a pond where he showed him his own reflection. Many of us are like this lion. The image we have of ourselves comes not from our own direct experience, but from the opinions of others. What was I just saying? Bro, I cannot. You guys. I love it when the cards just line up with what I say like that. So some of y'all are really struggling with what other people are saying about you. 
please do not let them get to you, honey. That's what they want. They want to get in your head. Don't even. Tell them, baby, I don't think so. Go ahead and look in the mirror. Okay. Like, <laughs> okay. So anyway, the image we have of ourselves comes not, oh, I already said that. Um, we become just another sheep in the herd, unable to move freely. Wait. A personality imposed from the outside replaces the individuality that could have grown from within. Okay, so there you go. We become just another sheep in the herd, unable to move freely and unconscious of our own true identity. It's time to take a look at your own reflection in the pond and make a move to break out of whatever you have been conditioned by others to believe about yourself. Dance, run, jog, do gibberish, whatever is needed to wake up the sleeping lion Within. Yes. How many of you are led by the lion? Okay. Um, unless you drop your personality, you will not be able to find your individuality. Individuality is given by existence. Okay. Personality is imposed by society. Personality is socially convenient. Society cannot tolerate individuality. Are you taking notes, sweetheart? Because I know you are. Sorry, that was for my haters out there. Ah, so funny. Because you know they learn it from you, bro. They are learning from you. Okay. Anyways. All right. Um, individuality has the quality of the lion. The lion moves alone. The sheep are always in the crowd, hoping that being in the crowd will feel cozy. Being in the crowd, one feels more protected, secure, if somebody attacks, there's every possibility in a crowd to save yourself, but alone. Only the lions move alone. And every one of you is born a lion, but the society goes on conditioning you, programming your mind as sheep. It gives you a personality, a cozy personality, nice, very convenient, very obedient. Society wants slaves, not people who are absolutely dedicated to freedom. Society wants slaves because all the vested interests want obedience. Okay. So that's very interesting. And, you know, we each have a lion in, in, inside ourselves, you guys, right? But we also have sheep inside ourselves. It's, a, it's, about, it's about balancing the two. And knowing when to bring out your lion and when to bring out your sheep. You know? Because really, we're all majestic, right? In who we are. But we all have that sweet part of us, too. Right? So your advice is to be led by the lion, okay? <laughs> Don't be letting nobody tell you nothing. If somebody tells you that you're something that you know that you're not, right, and they're calling you names and they're just acting very, very childish like a little baby, then you know what time it is. You already know they're jealous of you. And the truth is they wish they were you, right? And it's just that simple. You already know they're receiving karma. You already know that they're playing like they're not. And you also know, you know, that you are being blessed. So, like, I mean, what else is there to say? Like, take that advice and run with it, baby, because that's the fact. All right, yeah, so find the inner courage inside of you, ancient shiny ones. Many of my ancient shiny ones have a glow around them. You don't have to put a light behind you, right? <laughs> Some of these YouTubers put lights right behind their heads to, to, to show them glowing, right? Like, you don't have to do that. You naturally glow, okay? Right, ancient shiny ones. Um, but you have the courage inside yourself, and you're finding that, and you're taking that by the reins, right? And that's good. That's really good. And you're understanding that there's a whole other level, right, that many people don't access, okay? And you guys are starting to learn how to walk on that frequency, Right? And have fun. 
have fun while you're doing it. Like, have a freaking blast, because that's what these people want. These people right here, they want to take your fun. They want to make you sad. They want to make you mad. They want to make you angry. They want to make you cry. They, it, would, it would make their day for you to be upset with them. Honey, do not give them that opportunity. Stay vibing. Ha. Keep your frequency. Keep flying. Keep being creative and amazing in every way that you are. Know your worth. Okay, no, you've been nothing but good to these people, and they're going to receive that karma back for every single time you were good to them and every time they sent you nothing but negative energy. They're going to get a panking. They already are, and they know it. That's why they're mad. So just let them be. Let it be. Let it be. Okay. <laughs> Either they'll learn their lesson or they'll receive another wave and get another lesson, right? I mean, that's just, and that's what it's all about. Hey, okay. So don't worry. They're taking notes from you, honey. You're the teacher. They're the student. Let them take notes. Maybe they'll learn something. I love you guys, and I'll be back.